This is the 2025 Kia K5. And if you saw a review on the Kia K4 that just came out over there, that was unveiled today. That car takes homage from this car. So let's see what the original has to offer. And a lot of you may be familiar with the old K5. This is very similar. It's got slightly updated styling lines, an updated daytime running light. The old one was almost like a heartbeat on a heart monitor. Now it's a little bit different. I think it looks better now. The big news with this new K5 is it's switched from a 1.6 liter turbocharged engine to a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated engine. And that's valid on all the trims except for the GT that I have in front of me right now. Over here, We've got very, very slim and aerodynamic wheels and green brake calipers, which look pretty good. And the styling continues on. This is, like I said, very similar to the previous K5. It's just a mere facelift. The rear end is what is a bit different. You've got a new taillight design, which is very similar to the K4 that is inspired by this car here. Got a decent amount of trunk space here, especially for a full-size sedan which is nice to have extra cargo, why not? And then there's the color. That looks pretty good in my opinion. Let's take a look inside. In here is where the design changes a little more. It's very similar to what it used to be, but not exact. Center console here is quite a bit different. Different cup holders, wireless chargers are not here anymore. Now they are up here. You've got dual USB-C ports. Something that is very similar is your rockers for your heated seats and ventilated seats. While it is intuitive, I'm not a big fan of it. You do have 360 degree cameras now. Uh, seats are heated and ventilated, like I said, very nice leather and soft, very comfortable. Still have your Bose sound system, which is phenomenal. Sounds amazing. The biggest news is this. You now have a digital gauge cluster and the new infotainment that is integrated with your climate control. I can't show you here, but if you wanna look at any of our Hyundai or Kia videos that we've done, for the rest of the day, you'll see it. It is new, it's got wireless Android, Apple CarPlay, and it looks great. It's actually very intuitive to use. And here you've got a panoramic sunroof in the top trim, heated steering wheel, everything, everything that you could imagine in a top trim vehicle. So let's head on to the back. Everything is pretty much the same back here. Very good legroom, very comfortable seats, vents back here, dual USB-C ports, that's a little different. And uh, that's about it, everything else is the same. Something that they didn't get rid of, and I'm very happy that they didn't, is the silver chrome trim that goes all the way around, even around the back. But other than that, this has been the first look of the new K5. We're doing videos all day here at the 2024 New York International Auto Show, so make sure to subscribe for all of those.